Okay, so here we are today. We're gonna do a little trim work. I'm gonna tear the siding off of our bay window, which is right here. This bay window right here. All that siding is gonna come off. And then this window here, we're gonna replace. And then I'm gonna trim the bay in PVC trim and those boards. But all that goes back. Uh, that stuff was gotten from Lowe's. I don't like it. I don't like the edges on that trim at all. So we're gonna go with the Trex. So that stuff has to go back to Lowe's and then we're gonna go up to Home Depot and get the trim that I like. And then that's the window. It's a Pella window. It's a 150 series, double hung. I really like those windows. They, uh, they're really, you know, well built. Um, Pell is a very big name in the industry and, uh, we're going to do our whole house in them. We probably did, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, probably did six or seven of them, uh, up to now. And we're going to finish the house probably by next year with with all new windows but uh i'm going to redo that one now since i'm going to trim the bay and get that done and then we got to go out back and put these timber locks which are really good stuff in in our addition that we built out on the deck um they just basically take place of like a strong tight hanger i like those better I can't stand hangers if I don't have to use them. Um, but I'm not going to bore you with tearing off the siding here. But I will come back to you after the siding's off and show you what's underneath. This is a J.A. Myers home, and they're very big and popular in this area. But I I'm a real big, firm believer of you build a house strong. And I don't like when they use other materials other than OSB on the exterior. So we'll show you that when I, I get that off and the puncture holes and all like that, that that's in it that they leave behind the siding. I don't know if that's from the siding guys or the framers or what, but I'm just not a big fan of it. And then we'll set that window and show you all that. And uh, tomorrow we're probably going to do the trim because i got to take all this back to Lowe's this evening and we'll trim it tomorrow but uh i'll be back to you when i get all the siding off and we'll show you the underside see ya all right folks so i got the new pvc trim this cellular pvc trim is much better when you are pocket screwing it together the edges are much much sharper and it just works a lot better that way um just makes better joints but the bay was ripped off way early this morning and i just wanted to show you what they actually frame with um this again this is a j.a myers house and j.a myers is actually a pretty big builder around here in hanover but that's what they use and that is just fiberboard that's all it is there's really no structural integrity to it at all it has a good r value but I'm not a big fan of it. I just feel if you're going to frame a house, frame it with solid lumber. I don't like this. I don't like it at all because see how gappy it is? They just don't care about it. And I just don't like it. Um, most of this house is framed that, that same way. Myers uses that pretty much everywhere. But... I'm going to leave that up. I'm not tearing it down. But what I'm going to do is re-wrap this part of the bay with Tyvek. And then this is all getting trimmed in PVC white vinyl. So, and we're not going to do that till tomorrow. Um, I got some other stuff I want to do. I want to put that new toolbox on the front of the trailer here. This is the new trailer that we got. And I need to clean the garage up a little bit. Just got, there's my wife's bike, my bike, got to move it over. It's just a mess right now, but we'll continue this tomorrow as I uh, wrap the bay in trim and uh, show you the progress. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, so we're back at it. We're out in the garage. Uh, I had to work on 
that this morning for a little bit. Uh, didn't find good news, but that's okay. That's, uh, that's the motorcycle life there. But uh, we're going to get all this trim. Got the table saw set up right there. There's the backup table saw. You always got to have a backup tool. There's the miter saw out there. There's the big miter saw over there. But we're going to get all this trim cut and put up on that bay today. Then we're going to trim out all the windows um, with... Well, it all gets skirted with the one by styles, uprights. Um, and then this, I love this trim right here. I don't know if it's a picture board or, well, there's the phone, of course. Always has to ring at the wrong times. So, but I'll keep you updated throughout the day. We'll take more. See ya. All right, well, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> I did the trim. It's all done. Um, just have a little bit of finish work to do to it but uh, it's all up turned out pretty well pretty happy with it wife likes it that's really what matters but there's the bay I think it turned out pretty well did that clean the garage up definitely needed to clean this up put all that trims out of here Got to start working on that thing under there. But yeah, all cleaned up. See you next time.